changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other. Welcome to the Princess Pata Fabio Show. On this show, we change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally. In life, we have so many questions but fewer answers on certain, certain issues that we are facing. And that's why I'm here, to give you the kind of answers that you may be looking for for the questions that you have. I am your friend, I am your sister, I am your coach. I'm here to make your day a blissful one. Welcome. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching The Princess Pata Pata Show. And sometimes when you don't listen to her, you kind of leave her emotionally drowned. She's kind of like, he didn't listen to me. So she becomes lonely because you're not allowing her. Change your minds and change your attitude. You need her wrong for all the times you weren't there. So yes, revenge could make a woman cheat. Sometimes men just do things and they forget that women are also flesh and blood and that they feel the pains, the emotional pain, the emotional trauma, the break of trust when you cheated on her. And so she has the opportunity to cheat and it is perfect. Timing is right, location is ah, exquisite and excellent and the man is just her own kind of man. Why not? Revenge. It just comes in like an adrenaline that pops into her head. Why not? If not, at that point, the spirit of revenge just oh, comes on her and boom, it happened. Revenge. So when you hurt a woman, make sure you take out time to make sure she heals. Don't be in this hurry. Oh, everybody does it. After all, my friend cheated on the wife and the wife stayed and they're still in a loving relationship. Who told you that? You know, a lot of people have a way of making up, putting up to the gallery, playing up to the gallery, and just showing up at the spotlight, making you think like everything is okay, but in the house they cut and mouse. <laughs> Honey, make yours work for you. If you're a man and you cheated, and she cheated back on you, that is not the time to say, oh, well, you know what, you shouldn't have done that. No, baby, it is time for us to talk on the table. It means she never healed from your own infidelity. If you want your relationship to work, it is time to talk when that happens. Number 12, she just wants to make you jealous. Mm -hmm. There you go. She just wants to make you jealous. Jealous, jealous, jealous. Yes, because you've been acting as if you are Caesar. You are everything. You are the man of the man, all right? So you don't care no more. You don't have any kind of feeling. You don't even want to know how she's feeling. So now, at this point, where she's trying to make you jealous, A, you are either preoccupied with other things. It could be a job or maybe you are involved in another relationship. It could have been that you are also cheating or you were already cheating on her with another woman. And so in order to get your own attention as well, to see how it will feel, she's gonna make you jealous. And so she's gonna cheat on you to see if she can get back your attention. So whichever way you look at it, if you were already preoccupied with somebody else in another relationship, then you find out that your significant other was with somebody else or is trying to get with somebody else. That is your cue that all is not well in paradise. 13, material favors. People generally are actually attracted to flashy things. Yes, please. We are all vain at some point in time in our lives. I don't care you're a preacher of the word of God. I don't care you're a doctor, you have it all. You have your life all figured out. That's a point in time in our lives that we just need material favors, okay? Well, in the sense that a woman would cheat, she wants something better than what she has. So she's not contented with what you're giving to her. Or in some cases, in some cases now, you don't have a job as a man, you got kids to take care of. It's a whole bunch of financial things going on, bills, you can't meet up with it. I saw she just need favor, material favor. Genuinely material favor to actually see how she can keep her family together at that point. 
and she sees a man that is going to be able to help her so that her family doesn't drown, her family doesn't go down, yes, she will cheat at that point. And some people are just outright greedy, call it what it is, a sped is a sped, a shovel is a shovel, and a hoe is a hoe, okay? So she just wants to get more than what she has. She's just greedy for it. After all, my friends have it. I don't. My boyfriend can give me, my girlfriend can give me, or my husband can give me, and I cannot work for it either because I'm lazy. So yes, at that point, she will cheat on you just to get material favor. <sighs> Number 14. <laughs> Unlived fantasy. <laughs> Unlived fantasy. Yes. And you know what? In some cases, though, women would try to communicate their fantasies, their desire to their man. And sometimes men be so clueless, they don't even know what's going on. They can't even get what she's trying to say to them, especially if it is somebody who was living in uh, 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 kind of like this restricted um, household, like their childhood, everything was restricted. You can't go out, you can hang out with your friends, you can do this, you can do that, and then boom, freedom comes. Immediately they end their freedom, they wanna try, they wanna see, they wanna do it all. They wanna have all the experiences in one day, and oops, you happen to be the man that is dating them at that time. So when this happened, when a woman cheats and you want to make this relationship work, do your possible best to listen when she says, I have this fantasy that I like to fulfill and see if that is something doable for you or by you to satisfy her if you want to keep your relationship going and you don't want to deal with infidelity. Unlived fantasy, man, it could bring problem at this time, all right? Number 15, ooh, I am winding down to an end. But before I go down to 15, let me read out a note on something that I wrote. Women are less likely than men to have an affair. Women are less likely to have an affair like men. Why do we say that? See, relationship with a woman or woman in a committed relationship, going out to cheat doesn't just happen. They take, this is, it takes a lot of planning. They plan. They're going to have to plan on it. They're going to have to ponder over it. They're going to have to see the situation, how they're going to make it happen. What's going to, how is it going to happen? They're going to have, women have to build out a perfect environment, perfect. Women take out time to plan it. Unlike men who just is a beautiful girl, they've been eyeing her and they've been talking to her and then she accepts it, right? And then boom, they get a hotel room or some convenient place, a friend's apartment, they get it. A woman is not like that. A woman takes out time. She plans it and all of that stuff. Now, when you see a woman who's been faithful in a committed relationship go out to actually cheat, something is terribly wrong. Something has gone wrong, something is off. It is not time for anybody to cast out blame and pass out blame and say you shouldn't have. Why did you do it? You a godly woman, you a preacher. Y'all need to stop. Honestly, we need to stop it. We need to stop. We need to find out why did it happen. For the cock does not crawl in midday if something was not pursuing it. Like we always say in Africa, look for a black goat when it is not yet dark. Number 15. The thrill, the adventure. The thrill, the adventure. Okay. Whew. When once your love life goes into the mood called boredom, you are at risk of cheating. Infidelity is going to happen. Something is going to go off. Routine. Look, change this whole routine thing. Sex doesn't have to be in the bedroom all the time, on the bed. Sex doesn't have to be in a particular place, in a particular position. Communicate. Find out how to make it spontaneous. Find out how to make it interesting. Look for a way to make it hot all the time. Show love. Show care. Show that you are interested in what she is doing. Now, when once you get into this whole place where it's just it's about me, and I understand that men are selfish by nature. 
But do you know that women too could be selfish? Could be, I want to say could be. Could, it's a probability. Oh please, we are all selfish by nature, crying out loud. Why are you always trying to say it's man, man, man? No, honey, I'm giving you the new splash. We are all selfish, both men and women. Nobody wants another man touching his woman, and no woman wants another, man, another woman touching her man. That's the truth. Truth, hello. So, when we don't have the thrill and the whole adventure, boring routine, boring sex life, boring emotional life, boring romance, boring, everything is just boring. Everything about you is boring. She go cheat, all right? So, hey, be fun about it. Do something, stop by and buy beef patty, meat pie, chicken on the road, something different for her. Bring some nice thing and all that stuff, all right? <sighs> you ready for the last one? Because, <laughs> hey, I'm ready. This is going to be shocking to you, though. Why do women cheat? She wants to have a secret. <laughs> she wants to have a secret. She doesn't have any secret. So she just wants to have something that she can hold on to. That is her secret that when she gets into this island of thoughts, she can just think about it. You know, I can carry this to my grave. This is something that is my experience. I don't have to share it with anybody else. I just want to have that moment. Yes. Yes, that's it. And so she goes on to the cheating mode. She cheats just because she wants to have a secret that you don't know about. Men, 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 I need you to know this. You remember when you were dating this beautiful, sexy, attractive, gorgeous woman? Do you remember that? You had the passion, you had the love, you had the intimacy, you had it all figured out. There was this excitement. Guess what? She wants that back. Yes, she wants it back. She wants to have that. Now, if you can give her that and she finds a man that she's attracted to, she's going to act on it. Please don't get me wrong. Not every woman shit, but many do have a fair. And sometimes, let's clarify this. This doesn't have anything to be sexual. It doesn't have to be a sexual relationship. It could just be an emotional relationship. It could just be an attention relationship. It could just be an affection relationship. So don't always think that it was a fling. She had a fling. No, it was just an emotional connection. It had nothing to do with sex. <sighs> When you have a husband as a woman that is inattentive, doesn't pay attention to you, it's a very big problem in relationship that could cause women to cheat. Pay attention, men. It's time you start paying attention. It's time you get off your high horses, your high horses, yes, your highly exalted position, and do what you have to do for your woman, and be there for your woman, that man she married, that man who didn't have the position that he has now. Yes, please don't get me wrong. We love all the glamour, we love the money, we love the fame, we love everything, but we also love our emotional men, our passionate men, our caring, loving, ever sugar boy husband or boyfriend. So don't get carried away by your position today in life that you forget was so important. I would put it this way, don't forget your salt or don't enjoy too much of your salt and forget that too much of salt could make the food not tasteful. Remember that there is also sugar. Always have a balance in life. When you enjoy salt, also enjoy a little bit of sweetness because that kind of gives it a balance, not sweet, not bitter, but you are in between. Now, having an affair is negative. Please believe me, especially, in fact, you know what? Let me not even give, let me not qualify that. Having an affair in any committed monogamous relationship is negative. 
It will affect the marital relationship. It will affect their serious committed relationship. It is a breach of trust, point blank. There is no way I'm going to try to make it look good and try to sugarcoat it and say, oh, it's not what it is. It, it wasn't this. It wasn't that. But when this happened, it is a painful wake-up call. It is what it is. It's a painful wake-up call that something, excuse me, was missing. Something is missing for the other person to go look for that missing factor in their life somewhere else. Be seductive. It's not only women that have to be seductive to the man. Men, you could also be seductive. Seduce your woman and have her, all right? Do the right thing, say the right thing. And if you get cheated on, sorry. It doesn't make it right, but sorry. I just mean that you weren't doing something that you had to do. But I believe that you can fix it if you choose to fix it. But in all of this, forgive. Forgiveness is the key here. Now, will your relationship make it through an affair? Huh, a marital affair? Yes, it could, but it is subject to the foundation of your relationship. Was it marriage or relationship that was founded out of mutual respect for one another? Friendship, where you understood or you understand each other, you were friends? You befriended each other, all right? You were friends first. Then if it was, yes, you can walk it through, even though when there is a breach of trust. But if it wasn't, building friendship and the trust is really going to be difficult, though, when there is infidelity in it. But I strongly believe that with forgiveness in your heart, that there is nothing that you cannot walk through. There is nothing that you cannot achieve in your relationship, whether it's a marital relationship or it's just a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. I believe that you can walk through it. <sighs> Walking through your relationship is up to you. What you decide is best for you. Now, you could decide to continue in the relationship if it is valuable for you, even after someone has cheated, or maybe both of you have actually cheated on each other. But talk. You need to talk, talk through it. Don't sweep it under the carpet. Don't point fingers, don't look for who to blame. What has been done has been done and it cannot be undone. So let's figure out how to make it work and how to move ahead from here. If you don't actively work on your relationship to gain it back, to win it back, it will never bounce back from infidelity. It will never bounce back from the breach of trust. If you want to gain back your relationship, first step, forgiveness is crucial and it is very important. Talking is very important. Getting a marriage counselor is very important. Talk to people who may have experiences in the past and how they came through it. Be open about it, don't hide it. This is what causes people to go into depression. This is what causes people to have this, uh, what do you call it, high blood pressure that is not necessary. Learn to talk and whatever you do, pray to God. Don't forget prayers, it still works. God is still in the business of changing people's destinies and changing situation for people. Remember, you will be held accountable on what you did in that relationship when the time comes to God. Don't say, oh no, God is not involved. Oh yes, God is involved. It doesn't matter what religion you belong to. There is a God in that religion. Just know that you will be accountable for it. So go to him and talk to him that you want to fix your relationship. Have an open mind to fix it. Men, drop the entitlement mentality. Drop the entitlement attitude. It is not just a man's world, it is our world. If you say it's a man's world, that means women don't exist in this world. But so long as women exist in this world, there are reasons why women cheat. Don't jump into conclusions. Find out why she cheated. And when you do, forgiveness is the key to restoring back what was lost. And that is changing minds, changing attitude. Until I come again your way on another episode, I am Princess Pat Akwabio. And as always, please, 
to take care of yourself. Bye for now. Peace. Things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes. Bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Changing minds, changing attitudes. Bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Show some love, hold each other's hands. In confidence, we'll make the world a better place. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Patrick.